Broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Hello and good morning. This is Kathleen Forsyth and welcome to the Gorilla Expense and CSSI webinar on the Gorilla Expense solution for expense management. We're so pleased to have you here today and we look forward to showing you our solution both from a point of view of understanding who it is that we are and also the actual solution itself. So let's get started. How we're going to go today is we're going to talk a little bit about Gorilla Expense, who we are. Oh, before I go any further, Joe, I wanted to say thank you for hosting us today. Are you there? Yes, I am, Kathleen. And uh, thank you very much for taking the time to present on Gorilla Expense today. Uh, I'm Joe Tosolt. I'm the president of CSSI. We've been offering sales support and training for uh, Microsoft Dynamics GP for over 20 years in the whole mid-Atlantic region of the U.S. Um, and we've, uh, we have we like to bring uh, interesting and useful add-ons to the attention of our customers. Uh, this one I'm particularly interested in. I've spent many years in sales management and have uh, gone through the uh, the monthly rigor of manually uh, <laughs> handling all the paper for, for the sales team expense submissions. So great, really looking forward to your presentation today, Kathleen and Mahesh. Thank you, Joe, thank you. That's a great introduction because we are actually gonna, we're gonna look at a few of those things that uh, the sales team struggles so much with as we go through our demonstration today. So thank you very much. So a little bit about who it is that we are. We, our history as Gorilla Expense, we're very experienced. We've been in this business for 10 years. We have um, a great understanding of what works and what doesn't. We have thousands of uh, users around the world, and those users keep us on our toes and also love our software and love using our expense report managing. Our mission is to become the de facto spend management solution that provides panoramic visibility. And that's a big mouthful, that sentence. And I will talk a little bit about it further on, but what it, what it addresses is how um, expense management is so important to the management team so they can see have a visibility into their spend. And a good software solution is gonna take a look at that and give that kind of data to the management team. We've been recognized around the world and also in the United States for who it is that we are. We have several global companies. We were sponsored by Microsoft to showcase our innovation in T&E expense reporting. Kathleen, just to interrupt, uh, I think yes. uh, we are still seeing the first slide of the DVD. Oh. Well, let's just go back to the second slide. Okay, why is it that I'm not seeing that? Can you see it now, Mahesh? Uh, oh, I'm still seeing the first uh, first slide. Maybe Joe. Look, just if you can. And and can you see it now? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. okay. Great, Mahesh. Thank you. And I forgot to in, introduce Mahesh Raiwad, who is going to be presenting the solution itself when we get to that point. So I apologize for my first slide not showing you everything but I will continue to talk about it. We were recognized by Microsoft as being one of the top um, in their Showcase Innovation Conference. The Wireless Forum technology uh, showed us as a top innovator and most recently and probably the most proud of is our um, most, we were announced as one of the most promising Microsoft Dynamics solution providers in 2019. So we're very proud of that. Um, acknowledgement. Just to give you a little idea of some of the companies around the world that use our software, and the interesting thing about expense management is all companies need expense management. It's not that just a manufacturing company needs expense management or another type of company needs expense management, a medical company, a traveling company, all of them need expense management because we all have travelers on the road. And this is just a few examples of the customers that we've signed over time. So let's take a little bit of a look about who needs expense management. 
there are three stakeholders that need expense management according to the way we've really looked at the software. And the first one of those is finance. And finance wants to see what's going on with the spend. Uh, this study shows very well what it is that we're talking about in that companies that were surveyed said that the most important thing that the company saw was a need to improve the visibility over the spend. They want to know where the money's going, how it's going. You know, it's really important. If you know how much money you're spending on hotels, you can start to, you can use that as leverage for talking to a hotel company and getting a, dis, a, a company discount. And many companies do that, of course. And the second biggest one is that the, they get to reimburse the employees quicker. It's an employee satisfaction issue. Um, so it's one of the reasons that companies, the second biggest reason that companies wanted to see expense management. The sales and management team has their own set of interests in what's going on with, uh, with expense management. There's manual processes, like Joe said, Excel and Scotch tape. There's no automation. The reviews are manual. Processing errors occur. Slow reimbursement is what happens. Partial reimbursement is either not able to happen or is happening. And finally, on the, from a compliance and audit and analytics and reporting, point of view, it's very important to the company to be able to see these things. So these are the challenges that the sales and team, sales teams and management face. And the accounting team has its own unique set of challenges. And those is that they want to see streamlined, error-free expense processing and reimbursement. They want that data to flow straight into the accounting system. They don't want to have to rekey anything. They don't want to have to question whether or not it's being allocated properly. No paper equals no manual data entry equals no errors. So these are the three, the three stakeholders that are interested in expense management. Excuse me. <clears throat> so here are some tips on what you want to look for in travel expense management solutions. It should have a mobile app. It should be able to streamline processes. It should increase productivity. It should provide visibility. It should provide insightful reports. It should support multiple users with multiple permissions, accommodate approval workflows, help enforce business travel compliance policies, scale as the business grows, and support all the stakeholders that need it, not just one group or another. So now we're going to jump into the solution overview, and I want to welcome Mahesh Raiwad once again to the demo, as he will be taking over the screen from me and putting up our solution overview and talk about that and also do the application demo. And here it is, the screen, and Mahesh, it's over to you to take over. Uh, okay, uh, thank you so much, Kathleen. So let me see if I can take the control back to me. Yeah, okay, I can. Yeah, and yeah, so uh, I hope all, all of you can see uh, see, this, see my screen. I can see it, thank you a lot. Thank you very much, Mahesh. Okay, uh, thank you, Kathleen. So so let's, let's start. Uh, and I'm gonna start with, uh, with the solution overview diagram. So which explains, which talks about how our solution uh, looks like on a piece of paper. So what you see on the screen is the Gorilla Expense uh, solution. Uh, within the dotted box uh, is typically uh, how a solution, uh, you know, and we'll just uh, walk through from from one corner to uh, to the right corner, you know, and we'll see how we uh, look into all the different pieces and get them uh, into Dynamics GP or maybe you know into accounting system. So, so you can submit your expenses through web. We support multiple web browsers. Uh, we support, uh, I mean, you can do expenses both on Android as well as iOS. We can also pull in corporate credit card data into the application. We work with Amex, MasterCard, and Visa. Uh, and finally, we also have an email feature. So if you have an email in your inbox, which is the receipt, for example, uh, certain merchants like uh, Expedia or Hotels.com, uh, or maybe Delta Airlines, they send you an email once you do the booking with them. So ideally, if you're not on a solution, you'll print that email and attach that paper to an expense report. 
Uh, but in our case, you just have to forward that email to a specific email address into Gorilla Expense environment. That is receipts at GorillaExpense.com and the application will create that transaction for you. So application will convert the body of the email into PDF and keep it in the email section of the application for users to attach that PDF as a receipt and they can complete the transaction there and there itself. So these email expenses and the corporate credit card expenses are also available on the mobile application. So using the Gorilla Expense mobile app, you can submit the entire expense report from the phone without having to get in front of the computer. Well, users can also submit their expenses from the web. Uh, it's user preference. And within the web application, all the alerts are electronic. So, so what happens once users submit the expense report, uh, it goes to the manager at the same time manager will receive an email saying hey the employee has got uh, i mean employee has submitted an expense report so he will just go ahead whether he approves or rejects the expense report the similar kind of information will be sent back to employee about the approval or rejection of that particular expense report so that's the e alerts then we also have approvals workflow in the system uh, that can be set up uh, depending upon the uh, I mean so you can set up multiple level of approval for specific expense reports maybe manager one manager two uh, by the time it reaches to the accounting team uh, there's also policy model which you can set receipts and amount based policies for different expense types that can also be configured in the system uh, then we also have a routing feature you know so you can also route an expense report to someone else to a different manager altogether so for an example the sales manager thinks that uh, this is not supposed to be approved by him or her then you know he he or she can just redirect it to someone else so that's the routing feature uh, there's also reporting and analytics model uh, to slice and dice data with where you can go and query in all the expense reports all the expense data and and you can download pdfs with all the expense reports data with all the receipts available there and there itself so just jumping out of the dotted box for a second we can also integrate with third party systems like payroll and once all the expense data is compiled assembled and approved at multiple levels then using the gorilla expense proprietary integration application we can post that data into uh, accounting system so in this case it's dynamics GP. Well, that's how our solution looks like. So let's break this demo into multiple sections. Uh, now that we have an overview of you know how it all comes together, so we will start with the mobile application. Uh, we'll get an expense report ready. We will submit it from the mobile application. Uh, we can approve that on the web application just to see how our web application looks like. And once it gets approved, we will integrate that data into our demo grid planes. So let me pull my iPhone screen up. Just give me a second. Well, so this is how our application looks on iPhone. So the, uh, so the first one that you see on the screen is reports. And reports is where you create report. Uh, second one is expenses. Uh, expenses is where you create all single line item expenses. Uh, then we have receipt box so receipt box is a better way to store and manage your receipts in gorilla expense uh, this feature allows you to keep all your receipts in one place and you can sync them across all the devices so it's just like having a dropbox application within the gorilla expense and this is where you can store all your receipts before attaching it to an expense line so what happens if you have a receipt in front of you you know you take a picture of it uh, and it typically gets stored in your photo gallery or camera roll sometimes your photo gallery becomes clutter because you know you have your other personal photos going in there as well so it becomes uh, really difficult for the user to you know go back and forth and find that particular receipt uh, and instead of that if you have all your receipts uh, in receipt box you can find them easily also if you notice uh, as compared to your photo gallery thumbnails in the receipt box are quite big enough so just by looking at the receipt user can make out uh, you know who the vendor is what the amount is and what the date is 
also in the receipt box uh, we provide add-on service uh, which is receipt scan which uses OCR which is optical character recognition uh, so uh, so that means if you have a receipt in front of you you take a picture of it application will scan the receipt and it will complete that transaction for the user you know so it will pick up all the uh, all the important uh, fields from the receipt and it will uh, it will extract all the data from the receipt and it complete that particular transaction for the user. So I'm going to show you in a moment uh, how the OCR works once we start creating few expenses. So that's the brief, you know, about the functionality of the receipt box. Uh, the next that you see on the screen is timesheets. Well, that's another product of ours. If you don't have it, you know, you won't see it here. We will disable that for you. Next is approvals. Approvals is a section for managers. If they want to approve expense reports on the go, approve or reject expense reports on the go, then they can do so by clicking on approval section. Uh, and then there is settings where users can set preferences. Okay, so let's start creating few expenses. And uh, to do that, I'm gonna click on expenses tab. Uh, and when I do that, this is the screen I get into. Uh, right at the bottom, you see there are three tiny icons First one is mobile, second one is bank, and third one is email. Uh, so the mobile tab where I'll do all my out-of-pocket expenses, where any payment or any expenses that has been done using cash or a personal card, uh, which is not a corporate card, it has to be uh, created here. For example, uh, if you're having a cup of coffee at Starbucks and making a payment through cash or personal card, then it has to be created under mobile section. Uh, moving on to bank, so bank has all my corporate credit card expenses. Uh, this is the section where all the credit card data will show up. As you can see, uh, I have few Amex uh, sample demo data with me today, but this is how the credit card transactions looks like. Moving on to email tab. So email ads, uh, any pending email expenses. Uh, so, so there was an email in my inbox, which was a hotel reservation. And being a registered user into Gorilla Expense, I just forwarded that email from my inbox into Gorilla Expense and the application has converted the body of the email into PDF. So I can quickly take a look at it. You know, I can quickly uh, click on the PDF and click on preview. So this is the hotel reservation made at Marriott from October 14th to October 19th. And the amount is $1,045. So I can attach this PDF as a receipt to a particular transaction or I can create a transaction out of this as well you know just by filling out few details on the transaction level so we'll come back to this later so let me go back all the way on the home page and let's create first expense using receipt scan which is in the receipt box Uh, so when I click on the receipt box, uh, this is where I get into right on the top. You see options. So let's click on it and click on add receipt. Uh, then it gives me option to add receipt. So I'm going to click on camera and I have a receipt in front of me. So just give me a second. And Okay, let's click on receipt and it'll say use photo. So it's getting scanned. It takes few seconds to scan, uh, scan uh, sometimes a minute, uh, depending upon the speed of the internet and the quality of the receipt. Uh, but the way it works is I can take a picture of a receipt that is there in front of me. I'll upload this receipt and the application will scan the receipt and it will extract as much data as possible from the receipt for me and it will complete that transaction for me. Uh, it might not be entirely complete you know i might have to pick the expense type or make any fixes if needed but the most part it will show as task complete so just before the demo i scan the same receipt and let's look at the status and just give me a second yeah so at the bottom it says scan successful and it has picked up uh, the information from the receipt like date amount as well as vendor all I have to do is that click on options, which is right on the top. And then it gives me, I mean, it asks me, would you like to attach it to new expense or existing expense? So let's go ahead and say attach it to new expense. And then 
here it has picked up all the information and we have a receipt which is attached as well so it has picked up the date the amount as well as the vendor couple of cost categories which are enabled at the user profile like department and customer so i am from the sales department so it has picked up sales but this is completely configurable based on your requirement and so as the customer this is also completely configurable and you can make it uh, these particular fields as a default to the user profile so they don't have to pick it up every time they create transactions you know so let me skip project and project tasks and let's pick up expense type now so this was the meals expense so i'm gonna pick expense type as meals and right at the bottom i mean of course country state and city so all of this you can make is make it as default as well and if you want to have any comments or you know description or notes you have option to do that as well so right at the bottom you see comments and other comments field so this transaction looks good to me uh, we have all the information so let's go ahead and save this particular transaction which is on the right uh, top of this page so when i click on save it asks me would you like to save it on the web as well uh, i'm gonna say yes as it syncs both way so let's upload this transaction okay so so let's go back on the home page and now i'm gonna click on expenses tab so if you notice this was the out-of-pocket expense that's where it has uh, it has shown up under the mobile section so let's create one more expense now and i'm going to click on options click on create expense and this time we're going to pick a different expense type so let me quickly change the date so just for example i'm going to do all the uh, example expenses from the october month so let me choose the different expense type now and let's pick up mileage which is a common expense type and when i pick the expense type as mileage you know the page had changed to show me uh, the number of miles field as well as the rate rate per mile uh, has been populated in there so let me click on number of miles field either i can enter the distance traveled manually or i can take the help of google maps to do the math for me uh, and to do that i'm going to click on calculate miles uh, then it, then i have to choose the origin point as well as destination so let me pick up something like Duluth and the destination as Atlanta. And it has given me the approximate miles. I can also add the additional destination by clicking on the plus button. But I'll just keep it simple, Duluth to Atlanta. Click on done, click on save. And if you notice, it has given me the converted amount. And at the bottom in the comments section if you notice it has picked up the start and end addresses as for reference purposes and we also have receipt which is attached so if you want to take a look at it click on preview and the receipt in this case will be just a snapshot of the map well this transaction looks good so let's click on save and upload this transaction as well so we have created two separate expenses under the mobile section which is mileage and meals so let's jump into the bank tab so as we know bank has all the corporate credit card transactions so of course we need to remember that we will be having very limited information and there will not be any receipt attached to it so let's refer any one of this and let's open this up so so this transaction uh, uh, so we know that this all all the data on this transaction has come from the corporate credit card statement so the fields like date the amount the merchant name the payment method which is amex in this case and the country state and city so all of this has come from the corporate credit card statement so on the user profile these fields will be grayed out uh, and they won't be able to do any changes to these fields so the fields like department and customer of course they can still edit it uh, or you can make it as default as well so our application will map specific columns from the statement uh, to respective fields within the application so 
if there is any additional data supplied by the credit card company or the credit card statement in the comments field uh, as you can see here you know it has mentioned parking fees so based on based on this data the application can be configured to read that and it will pre-select the most relevant expense type for the user as you can see it has picked up fees but user can still go ahead and change the expense type if he wants to or if there is needs to be but the most part it will show as task complete well right on the top on the left hand side you see there is a camera icon since this is a corporate credit card statement sorry since this is a corporate credit card transaction uh, we do not have any receipt attached to it so but if you if you want to attach a receipt to this particular transaction we have multiple options as well you just have to click on camera icon and and now you can see that these many options you have through which you can attach a receipt you have camera through which you can take a picture of the receipt you can pick up a receipt from photo gallery receipt box dropbox or onedrive we have type with both uh, you can also click on merge from mobile uh, and pick up a receipt or you can click on merge from email and it will take you to the email section of the application now you can click on this and this pdf will get attached to particular transaction well for this particular transaction i am not going to attach any receipt just to show you what happens if a transaction don't have a receipt is it going to give us a red flag that's what we will see so let's go ahead and save this particular transaction and let's upload this one, this one as well well so we have created three different expenses so far and we have uploaded them as well uh, now we are going to add them to an expense report but the process of upload in the way we saw it always encourages travelers to complete their expenses as and when they incur and not to wait till the end so if you are walking out of Starbucks with a receipt that you paid out of pocket you can just quickly take a picture of it code the expense type and upload it then and there itself so you don't have to stuck that receipt in your pocket or lose it somewhere or forget it somewhere you know it can just be done immediately well so i'm back on the home page so let's go ahead and create a report now so i'm going to click on reports and then i'm going to click on create report button and then i have to fill in few information so i have to give i have to give a name to this report so i'm going to say uh, october 2019 expenses uh, then i have to pick the report type so i'm going to pick corporate but if you're billing back to a project or customer you have an uh, option to choose and then i have to pick the start date and end date so let's pick october 1st as the start date and october 31st as the end date click on options click on save So let's click on the report which we just created and uh, we have created uh, a skeleton report to which now we will add all the transactions uh, which we just uploaded. Uh, and to do that, uh, we will do add existing expenses button which is at the bottom right hand side. So let's click on it. And then by default, it takes me to the mobile section first. So I'm gonna click on mileage meals and then in the bank tab i have fees expense so let's click on it and right on the top you see this add button and let's go ahead and click on that uh, and so here we have all the three expenses uh, and it shows the date the source of the expense the type of an expense and the amount and at the bottom it will give you a breakdown what the total was what is not reimbursable as it will pay to the corporate credit card and what is reimbursable back to the employee which is total reimbursable so at the bottom left hand side you see there is a validate button you must click on it to make sure that all expenses are valid 
and then only it presents you with the submit button so let's go ahead and submit this particular expense report so now this particular expense report will be submitted to my manager now uh, my manager name is sam so sam will receive an email saying mahesh has submitted an expense report for so and so trip and so and so date and the report number is ge2836 and that email will also have an url in it for manager to click on it and take action but from traveler standpoint his work is done so in a few clicks we have submitted the entire expense report from the phone without having to get in front of computer so another point with the mobile application is that it also operates in offline mode so if you are sitting on a plane and you got five receipts in front of you and you don't have wi-fi or any connectivity as such uh, you can still open up the application take pictures of the receipts and you can complete those expenses manually and you can keep them ready to be uploaded so it's very simple very quick to operate and you know uh, we can complete the expenses even in offline mode where you can just code the expenses take pictures of the receipts so that's another option as well okay so so let's move to the next section where we are going to approve this expense report as sam uh, who's the approving manager and that we are going to do from the web application so just give me a second so we will look at the web application and we will approve this particular expense report and then we'll get it ready to be sent into great plans so this is the gorilla expense home page of web application this is the sign in page so let's log into this application as sam who's the approving manager and let's review this particular expense report which we just submitted so when sam logs in or employee or manager logs in this is typically how the dashboard looks like so it says hello sam and then expense report section is broken into two subsections where the one where sam is working on but there is none right now and then below expense report section i mean expense report submitted to sam for approval by his employees so in this case 2836 which we just submitted so let's open that up and review that and when we open that right on the top you see there's approvals workflow and it says submitted to manager Sam Robinson, but not approved yet. And then you also have a quick heads up to manager saying that this report has potential duplicates. That means our application also catches uh, multiple receipts. If you have submitted multiple receipts, then the application will catch that and it will flag it as potential duplicate. If you come down, there you see there are a couple of tabs, green and red. So that says approve and reject so of course manager can approve an expense report he can reject an expense report and towards the right hand side if you see there's a redirect expense report button so i can also redirect an expense report to other managers in the system if i think this is supposed to be approved by someone else and click on redirect then we also have pdf preview so pdf preview it actually generates a very handy pdf document uh, which has a summary table followed by subsequent pages that will have receipts with them so every page will have a single receipt of that respective line item along with expense type and date mentioned on it so our customers like this feature because it also serves as a very convenient backup option for them it's a very handy pdf document uh, then we also have audit trail uh, so audit trail just gives the user a running summary uh, you know what's been going on with these expense reports and along with the date and timestamp uh, so it captures all the changes uh, that has been made to an expense report uh, along with, uh, with of course at the header and transaction level so it shows when i submitted the expense report uh, when my manager approved it when the accounting approved it so it will have all the information that has been 
uh, done during the approval process. Uh, this is very compliance and audit centric and you can also download it as Excel PDF as well as Word document. So if we come down under the transaction column, you know, so here the first column that talks about violation and you will see multiple flags here. So at the last, which is a meals transaction, you see there is a potential duplicate. And if you click on this particular receipt, I mean the particular flag, it will give you all the previous instances when it shows uh, all the previous instances when it says similar kind of receipt was attached, the same receipt was attached to this many transactions. So you can take a look at it, you can compare if all the receipts are same and you can do the editing if you want to, you know, you can reject this particular transaction from this report and it will go back to the employee. Uh, under the receipt column, you have receipts. So if you click on the receipt link, you can view that particular receipt there and there itself along with all the information of that particular transaction showing up towards the left hand side. Okay, so as a manager, if you want to do a little bit of editing, if you want to change the account, if you want to change the expense type, if you want to remove a particular transaction, you can do that by clicking on edit report functionality. When you do that, you get an access to additional action items. So the first one that you see, there's a cross button that says, you can reject particular expense report. And I mean, you can, remove particular expense transaction from this report. Then we also have edit buttons. So by clicking on it, you can you can make changes to this expense report and fix an errors if you want to. Then we also have copy feature. So if the same expense is repeated again and again, with a click of a button, you can copy and repeat the transaction. And then we also have split feature. Uh, where marketing, suppose, I mean, imagine the situation where marketing and sales team have come up together and given a client meal, and you wanted this expense to be distributed between marketing and sales team. Then using this split feature, you can split the expenses between two departments itself. So let's go ahead and approve this expense report. I'm not going to uh, do any editing at the moment. So let me click on back to review expense report and let's click on the approve button and let's approve this particular expense report. Okay, so we have done that and you can see that right on the top there's the approvals workflow and it has turned all green and it says manager all levels approved and the status is also showing as manager approved. So now that this report is approved, will bring us to the final step of the process, which is now sending this report to Great Plans using the Gorilla Expense integration application, which is hosted on a remote server. So let me let me go to remote server. And let's open the Gorilla Expense integration application. Okay, so this is the Gorilla Expense Integration application and I'm going to log into this application as admin. So admin will typically be accounting, finance or IP. So this application uh, is not accessible to employee or a departmental manager because this is completely an accounting and AP function. And when I log into this application, all I have to do is that click on file Click on export expenses and it is going to give me the list of expense reports and all of those are going to be manager approved reports. You can see here. So I'm just going to click on the one which we just approved. Click on the but I mean change the status to AP approved and click on the button that says send to GP and update the status. So process wise at the end of the week, end of the two week or end of the month, as a AP manager, you can come to this page, 
you can click on select all of these expense reports and with the click of a button you can send everything to great plans so you don't have to manually key anything into gp it just eliminates a lot of time you spend keying the data in your accounting system or in this case is great plans you know so another option we provide with the integration application is that we also have the auto export or auto send you know we can we can entirely automate this process where we can schedule the integration application to automatically push all manager approved reports into gp at a scheduled time and a day so if you think maybe friday at 4 pm uh, you want to push all manager approved reports uh, into gp then you don't have to come in here and push this button so that's an additional option as well well so as we can see this has turned green that means we have successfully posted all the data into gp so let's go into grid plans and make sure that we have posted all the information uh, correctly so i'm going to click on transaction entry under the purchasing and click on the voucher number and let me scroll down all the way to the bottom and at the bottom if you notice uh, it has created two separate uh, invoices you know last two lines uh, you see the voucher number 2836-0 it has a different vendor id which is 20000 and 2836-1 uh, it also has a different vendor ID. So let's pick up the one 2836-0 Vendor ID is 20,000. That's for the Amex, which is for the corporate credit card and two eight three six one Which is for the employee and it has a different vendor ID. So let's click on the distribution and you can see that all the lines we created have posted to the desired account. That's the distribution. That's that's the integration part. So it has created two separate invoices, uh, and it has automatically picked my vendor number. And for the corporate credit card expense, it has picked the different vendor number. So the next step within GP would be to post this patch, and it will create the payment line to pay the respective vendors and. It will post that expenses uh, in the general ledger. And if you come back to the integration application, you know, you're still seeing this particular expense report here in green, but at the bottom, you see there's a reload button. If you click on that, you know, that particular expense report has been disappeared from this list because we have sent this through successfully. And if you come back to the web application, you know, the status of this particular expense report still showing as manager approved. But if you refresh this page, the status will now change and it will show me now as AP approved. So that's the integration part. Well, let me quickly show you a couple of features on the web application. So towards the left hand side, there is a toolbar if you click on it right at the bottom there is settings and i'll click on impersonate user feature so so we also have impersonate user feature within the application now i can so so, so right now i'm logged in as sam and with the click of a button i can log in as cv so if i click on impersonate I click on okay so as you can see, I'm now logged in as CV. So, so with the click of a button, uh, you can become CV or you can have an access to someone else dashboard altogether. So now you can take care of all CV expense reports or reports which are pending for approval and I can take care of those. And with the click of a button, which is revert identity, I can become Sam again. So this is helpful for CFOs and CEOs. We got personal assistants to take care on behalf of them. It's a very handy feature. And once again, I'll click on to home. Uh, sorry, toolbar. 
and I'll click on analytics this time and as I was saying we also have analytics and reporting model so under the analytics if I click on reports we provide the can list of reports within the application so besides that companies uh, I mean as you can see under the standard reports we have different reports like reports by country reports by employee reports by employee uh, and AP approved status report by expense type report by vendor and besides that companies who has corporate credit cards uh, we provide unsubmitted bank transaction report uh, which makes it very easy to reconcile corporate credit card statements so this report would tell ap manager what pending or missing corporate credit card transactions are you know so instead of having to sit through 70 or 100 page credit card statement and the missing transactions this report would tell you what the missing transactions are, who they belong to, which date they came in, and what the amount was. Uh, apart from that, we also have aggregate spend reporting, reports with cost allocation details, expense policy violation reports, customer project related reports, and business unit as well as department related reports too. Well, so with that, I'm pretty much done showing all the features and functionality from the mobile application as well as web application. And of course, we also have looked into how, how the uh, integration works, you know, with the great plans. So with that, I'm going to hand it over back to Kathleen. Uh, hey, Kathleen, uh, over to you. Thank you very much. Um... Mahesh, can you bring up the last slide and the tips on what to look for in travel expense management solutions? Yeah, sure. Thank you. So I wanted to thank everyone for attending. I wanted to kind of do a little recap at the beginning of the presentation about what's really important in a um, expense management, what, what travelers should look for, what managers should look for, what the accounting team should look for, and we have shown you each of these each of these points the mobile app streamline processes increase productivity provide visibility into spend provide insightful reports so the ability to support multiple users and multiple position permissions accommodate workflows help enforce business travel compliance policies scale as the business grows as we said we've had we have customers with thousands of users and support all stakeholders so I'm very pleased to thank you uh, for attending today and thanks Joe for supporting us and hosting us today and thanks Mahesh for an amazing presentation thank you for doing that for us all so I wish everyone a really good day and um, if you have any questions Joe is available and his team at CSSI to answer any questions that you might have and we will be sending this out to you uh, as a recording as well. So thank you everyone for attending and have a, a safe and well day. Thank you Kathleen, thank you Joe. Yeah, thank you everyone. Bye-bye.